Because of the war in Ukraine, electricity shortages have become more frequent. In order not to be in total darkness, I decided to build a portable power station. It will be consist of an uninterruptible power supply and a lithium battery. Let's go to start assembling. The terminals on the UPS doesn't fit the battery terminals, but the drill will solve this problem. Great, now I can to plug in. The first start. I am holding the power button and waiting. It looks like it's working. I am plugging in an extension cord and tested it on my iPhone. Yes, it's charging. Now I have to make an extension cord to connect the UPS to the power outlet. In the shed I found an old vacuum cleaner and I will take a cable from it. But it's a little dirty, so it needs to be cleaned. Now I can make an extension cord from this wire by adding a connector. Done! Make another extension cord to connect Wi-Fi router. But this time with a brand new cable. Here is my Wi-Fi router, from which I will start laying the cable. I will fasten the cable to the wall by the screws and cable ties. Oops, the electricity in the house is gone again. Luckily, I already had a flashlight on. I keep working in the dark. It looks like the cable will prevent the door from closing, so I am making a groove in the doorway with a knife. On this dresser will be placed my portable power station. Electricity came back. I am laying a cord extension for connecting it to the power. I am plugging in and waiting for the battery to start charging. The charging indication and the cooler are working, looks like the charger is on. I hide extra wires and connect extension cord to the UPS. Of course, there will be another extension cord on the desk. The extension cord is ready, now it's time to check the work of the Wi-Fi router. It looks like everything is ok. Now let's go to the lighting. I have to wire the light bulbs in three rooms. I'll start in the kitchen, where there is a dining table, which I also use as a working desk. Alright, it's working. 
Now I have to do the lighting in the bedroom. And now it's time for the bathroom lighting. Unfortunately, I ran out of cable. I have to look for a donor again among a pile of junk. That's what I found. I am connecting the wires and protecting them by heat shrink tubing. mission complete. As you can see, the cable does not prevent the door from closing. But I think that I picked a bad spot to attach a light bulb in the bedroom. So I would try the hinge it on another side of the wooden beam and a little bit higher. That's better. Now the bulb is not so noticeable. Well, the assembling of my portable power station is over. The cables are neatly packed. Now, during blackout, I'll have standalone lighting in three rooms and I can charge all my gadgets at any time. Thank you all for watching.